Hey guys, it's Nick, aka the one and only Nick's Games. Today I'm introducing you guys something that I've been asked uh, by a lot of you ever since I mentioned it on stream one time that uh, you would like to know, and that's how to always guaranteed change your IP address. So if you're getting hit with a DDoS or something like that, you can change your IP address and then continue on doing whatever you're doing and uh, and be fine. Now, first and foremost. Don't use Skype, that's a big IP hole. Don't add people on Steam you don't know, they can get your IP via Steam calls. So those are two real quick that might be where you're losing your IP and your IP hole at all is, right? So best thing to do is just not give people your other IP. Also, sometimes you can get an IP via video games and a video game service. It kind of depends on who owns the server and what you're playing on. So that could also be where you're getting your IP from. Those are kind of unpreventable, and that's when this can come in handy. As well as, if you've already, you know, had your IP gotten via Skype, you can change it here and then not use Skype in the future. That way you can, you know, prevent it moving forward. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and change our IP address. Now, let's go here and on Google, we've searched IP, and there is my other IP address. Just because, just because you guys... You know, we, we know how to change it, doesn't mean we want to leak it publicly without, you know, I mean, it, it, we just don't want to change it if we don't have to, right? So, there is my public IP address, everything but the last three digits, 204, are, uh, are blocked out for you guys, because uh, I don't want you guys to have it if you don't need it, that's kind of how that works. Nevertheless, though, let's log into our router here. Now, I know my router login information, if you don't know your router login information, you can go to nixgamescom slash router passwords. It'll be the first link in the description down below. And uh, it will take you here where you can click on whatever kind of router you have. Let's say you had a Netgear. You find the password. Let's say you had this like WNR right here, this router. You would do admin and password as the admin and password for the router, right? So for the login, you would type in admin and you would type in password. So admin and then password. So that's how you would find that. Nevertheless, once you've logged into your router, it is time to change your IP address. Now, this works pretty much all the time. I've literally, whenever I was told about this, he said, do this, this, and this, and if your IP doesn't change, you're the first person in the history of the universe that didn't work for. Now, you might be that first person because I'm sure there's something that you can mess up and not work correctly on it. So in my case, all I've got to do is go to connectivity in my router and then go to advanced routing, or not, I'm sorry, not advanced routing, internet settings. That's all I've got to do. And as you can see down here, we have this MAC address clone. For you, that's what you need to look for. Look for MAC address on your router. Look for your MAC address, right? So look for it, find it. When you do find it, that's what you're looking for. I have no clue where it's going to be in your router, and that's just the truth of it. It might be in internet settings. It might be in, you know, like, I, I don't even know, like, IP settings maybe I don't know it's gonna be somewhere in your router and you're gonna find Mac address right like that and you should be able to edit if you can't edit it in your router you might not be able to do this nevertheless all I have to do is just enable and then click clone my PC's Mac address click apply and I get a new IP address now if your router isn't as advanced as mine it doesn't have this clone my IP's Mac or my PC's Mac address button how do you get your PC's MAC address? Well, it's pretty easy. All you gotta do is go to the Windows button and then type in CMD, just like that. Right click and then run as administrator. Then once you're here, by the way, if you wanna know how you can get to, I, I mentioned, didn't mention this earlier, like this stuff, all you gotta do is go to 192.168.1.1, most likely. If that doesn't work for you, however, you can come here and type in IP config and then go to your IPv4 address right here. Right, so that's kind of a lapse in the tutorial. My bad, it's, 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 so I apologize. Nevertheless, once you're in the CMD, like we are right here, and if you've already got your IP, you don't need to do the IP config there. You can do git mac, G E T M A C, boom, git mac, and there is your MAC address. And if we compare it, I'm not going to allow this out publicly. I apologize, it's just not gonna happen. No way, Jose. But if we do that, I'll let the first two digits out, and as you can see, 74 there and 74 over here. Because it automatically clones it. But that's what you want to do is take this physical address right here and just copy it into the MAC address clone over here in your router. Once you've done that, however, you can just click apply. It'll reboot your internet. As you can see, you're going to lose connection here. And it'll go through, reboot your internet. We'll then go search IP. You got to get on Google. And you'll see that the two, I believe it is, what is it, 204 changes to a uh, completely separate thing. So I'm looking over at my router. It's finding internet. It is getting an error on internet, and then it will connect to the internet. And once it connects to the internet, we will be able to do a refresh here. Wait for it. All right, let's see if we can do it. Bam. Come on. There you go. New IP address. It is not 204. It is now 212. 
and it's that simple guys it is that simple to change your IP address just change your MAC address and your router and you've done it so anyway guys hope that helps you out if you wanted to know how to change your IP there you have it I'm Nick's games thank you so much for watching and uh, I'm out guys peace by the way if I do leak an IP here it's not a big deal so yeah if, if like one of these numbers isn't blacked out by accident or whatever no big deal for me I'll just change my IP because I've got a million MAC addresses even your phone has one so all right guys again hope you enjoyed I'm Nick's games give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already make awesome tutorials every single day of the week and I'm out guys peace and here's some videos you guys might want to go check out down that way we've got city skylines that's a gaming let's play video of me playing city skylines the epic and awesome video game and uh, it's a pretty fun time so go check it out and down the other way is how to start a minecraft server you might have uh, actually leaked your ip because you started a minecraft server and then posted your ip publicly well if you want to go restart your server this time not advised to share your ip publicly but go check out that video and it'll show you how to uh, to start a server anyway guys thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i'm nix games and i'm out guys peace